A new species of armored reptile from the early Triassic was discovered last year, and it kind of rewrites the history of marine reptile evolution. Welcome back to Paleopedia, and the Triassic period is generally considered the beginning of the age of reptiles. This was when we started seeing the first of many recognizable reptile lineages, including the first dinosaurs, pterosaurs were beginning to take flight, and in the seas, marine reptiles were beginning to evolve and diversify. And when it comes to marine reptiles, the Triassic period is generally known as the age and heyday of the ichthyosaurs, or the fish-like reptiles. And while ichthyosaurs are predominantly the reptiles that we think of when we think of the Triassic oceans, as they ranged from like 5 feet in length all the way up to possibly 80 feet in length, there were other reptiles that were living alongside them. And last summer, a new species of armored reptile was announced, and it kind of rewrites the history of these other group of reptiles outside of the ichthyosaurs. This reptile has been given the name of Prosaurophagus. It was around 5 feet long and covered in bony osteoderms, but what makes it unique is the age of the animal itself. The fossil, which was found in 2019 in the Hubei province of China, dates back to around 250 million years ago, which is about 5 million years older than the previously oldest known Sarophargid. Sarophargids are an interesting group of marine reptiles, mainly because they were more armored, similar to turtles today, but they weren't closely related to turtles, but they did look a little bit like them. Most Sarophargids retained the generic reptile lizard-like shape, but most of them had a broader, flatter rib cage and rib basket, which made them look a little bit more like turtles. And some of them actually did look like turtles, like Cynosaurophargus. But despite the close resemblances, they are not closely related to turtles, they just convergently evolved a similar method of armored protection. But until the discovery of Prosaurophagus, the oldest Saurophagid was 245 million years old. So with this new species being really large and 5 million years older, it kind of opens up a lot more questions of how exactly did these marine reptiles begin? Obviously, now we can assume that the Saurophagus began much earlier than previously thought, but even more interesting about Prosaurophagus is the fact that it seemingly looks more like its sister group of marine reptiles, the Sauropterygians. The Sauropterygians include other known marine reptiles like Nothosaurs and the later Plesiosaurs of the Jurassic period. And until this discovery, it's been assumed that the Sauropterygians and the Sauropharygids are sister families, so close relatives, but not directly related to each other. But the researchers who discovered Prosaurophagus note that there are a bunch of similarities between Sauropharygids and other plesiosaur-like Sauropterygians, which could indicate that the two families are much more closely related to each other. In fact, it's possible that the Sauropharygids are more of a subgroup of the Sauropterygians. The researchers also believe that it's possible that these group of reptiles alongside the ichthyosaurs could be more closely related to the archosaurs, the animals that would eventually become crocodilians, dinosaurs, and modern birds. The wide variety of body armor found in a lot of these different reptile groups, excluding the birds, indicate that there could be more of an evolutionary link between all of them than previously assumed. As for reptiles like the Sauropharygids, it's possible that this bony armor was not only used for protection, but also as a buoyancy counter to stay down at the seafloor where most of their food likely would have been. The team that found Prosaurophagus is hoping that the region where it was found yields a lot more fossil evidence to support their ideas, but for now, we're just gonna have to wait and see. 